Go ahead, Gus. Uh, Coach, just interested. The last time we um, saw them, you helped rear their starters to single digits. Uh, I think it was Carrington and Harris and Thomas. Just what can be translated carry over to today that you did in that game? Yeah, I mean, I don't. That's not even a thought of ours. You know what I mean? Like that happened so so long ago. Um, I think we have to do a great job of being able to to keep people in front of us and stay in place. Um, make them take tough contested shots. I think if we can do that, the one thing I did did like about our defense, especially early on um, in the last time we played them, is like we were in plays a lot of those times. You know, if people make tough shots, they make tough shots and you have to live with that. But, you know, you try to make them depend on making tough shots throughout the game, the whole game. So I thought we did a decent job of that, especially early on. Five you started on Friday night was the first time. Uh, that chemistry started to gel in the second half. Mm -hmm. uh, are we going to see something like that tonight? I mean, I sure hope so. Um, <laughs> uh, we've been waiting a long time to, you know, obviously get Jordan back with Ryan going down, um, having Ryan back. Um, Leash has been solid for us all year, being being that mainstay, Tina as well. Um, I think in certain Nas has been good, just a burst of energy in the way that she plays with the toughness. Um, so, you know, it may take a couple games, but I think we got to continue to continue to work that so that that group can continue to build the chemistry. Well, you have a drill like you had on Friday and then having to come back and play on a Sunday. Yeah. How do you handle, um, or how does the team handle those, those early points that you feel? Yeah, short, short term memory. Um, in terms of that, we have a whole new focus. Connecticut is a whole different, whole different beast. Um, so mental preparation really, right. Cause you're not really getting on the court because it's only one day in between. Um, so just a mental prep prep day to to be able to prepare and understand that Connecticut looks different. They play different than Seattle, and we have to make that adjustment quickly. Do you have a lot of time to like focus on schemes, uh, differences schemes? Yeah, I mean, I think I think you have to. Um, I think you have to because each team presents a different problem, um, and so you 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 know we're, we're pros, um, and so whatever we throw at them, we got to be prepared. It's not like they haven't. Um, you know, seeing different different schemes throughout the year. We've already played con um twice, I think. <laughs> um, so, you know, is that's just the nature of being being in the profession. Besides the uh, you know, the demonic and the misses, uh, what makes the sign, you know, so uh big one of the better teams in the league? Yeah, they're they're maturity. Um they're an experienced team, they're a veteran team, they've been together um for a very, very long time. And they make you pay. Um, when you make mistakes, they make you pay. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, they don't really hurt themselves. Um, they just wait for you to you to do the job. Um, and so, obviously, they have great players. They're they're complementary players like Carrington, like Harris, are both having exceptional years. And so, you when you combine that with the ATs, the DBs, and the Bree Jones, um, it, there's a reason why they're the second place team. Friday, Tina talked about this being kind of a new season. Yeah. Is that something that came from you and the coaching staff, or is that something like the players kind of took? I think it was a collective just understanding like um, all the adversity that we've hit um, in that first half of the season and being able to take a, a, a deep breath during the break. Um, and now having, you know what I mean, being a lot more whole than, than we were. So everybody's looking at it like, all right, like take it one step at a time, one day at a time. Um, we can't dwell on on you know the past we just have to continue to work get better do the small things and and focus on the games that we have left um you know and today today is another opportunity for us to be able to do that take one more okay thanks thank you, thank you. Yep, yep, yep. what sucks to